Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss about the graphs of inverse functions. The graph of the inverse is the reflection of the graph of the original function. The axis of symmetry is the line y equals x. Considering this example, graph the function below and its inverse. What we need to do first is to determine the inverse of the given set of ordered pairs. Remember that in determining the inverse of a function given in a set of ordered pairs, we simply need to interchange the values of x and y. Therefore, the inverse will be the set of points 1, 0, 3, 1, 5, 2, 7, 3, 9, 4, and 11, 5. To graph the function and its inverse, we will plot the ordered pairs in a Cartesian plane and connect all the points. This is the graph of the original function with ordered pairs 0, 1, 1, 3, 2, 5, 3, 7, 4, 9, and 5, 11. On the other hand, this is the graph of the inverse of the original function with ordered pairs 1, 0, 3, 1, 5, 2, 7, 3, 9, 4, and 11, 5. Notice that the graph of the inverse is actually a mirror image of the original function with respect to the line y is equal to x. Let us consider this example. Graph the function below and its inverse. We have the given function to be f of x equals 2x minus 3. Before graphing this function, let us first determine the inverse. Recall the steps in determining the inverse of a function. First, we need to express f of x by y. Next step, interchange y and x. So we will have x equals 2y minus 3. Next, isolate the term with y on one side of the equation. With that, we need to write negative 3 on the other side of the equation, making it x plus 3 equals 2y. By reflective property, we can write the equation as 2y equals x plus 3. Next, divide both sides by 2 because the numerical coefficient of y should be equal to 1. So 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. So we will have y equals x plus 3 over 2. Finally, change y into the inverse of f of x. Therefore, we need to graph the given function f of x and its inverse x plus 3 all over 2. This is the graph of f of x is equal to 2x minus 3 with points 2, 1, 4, 5, 5, 7, and 7, 11. This is the graph of the inverse of f of x which is equal to x plus 3 all over 2 with coordinates 1, 2, 3, 3, 5, 4, 7, 5, 9, 6, and 11, 7. Notice that the two graphs are mirror images of each other with respect to the line y equals x. I hope that you have understood the lesson. For the next video, we will discuss about the exponential functions. Thank you for listening and see you on our next discussion.